Thank you very much, Marco and Volodymyr. I'll just say a, a few words because many things have already been said. Uh, I'm thrilled to receive a Peterson Literary Fund 2023 Translated Book Award for my translation. I'd like to thank the fund for supporting the publication and translation of high quality dynamic books about Ukraine. It's of vital importance now when Russia is once again engaged in trying to wipe out Ukrainian identity and culture. It is imperative that the world know more about Ukraine so that they will continue to support it in its fight against the terror of Russian imperial ambitions. And just a few quick words. Uh, I discussed Volodya's story, how he wrote the book. I'll just tell you how I heard about it. Every server, my family uh, and I would visit our kum, um, godfather uh, of our child, Taras, in Hostomil, a uh, town outside Cave that has become famous, unfortunately, uh, recently for, for the horrible things that happened there. But once at a gathering there, I asked my friends Andriy and Sofia, who are both Ukrainian writers, uh, why they still live nearby in another village that we know about today, uh, Borodyanka, uh, and why they don't live in their apartment in the Obolon district of Kiev. And they said that they were letting a writer refugee from Donetsk live at their apartment until he finishes writing his latest novel parts of which they had already read and which they described as being amazing. A year later, that novel was published and it had the name Mondegrin, Pisni Prosmer i Lubov. I bought it in a bookstore in Ukraine, I read it, I determined that it indeed was an extraordinary literary work, and I asked my friend Andriy to contact me with the author, because I wanted Volodymyr's permission to translate it. He gave it to me, I translated it, and then later at a conference, Back in the US, Oleg Kutsuba proposed that uh, Harvard Ukrainian Research uh, published a translation that ended up being the publication Monday Green Songs About Death and Love. The novel is a somewhat autobiographical story of Haba, a refugee who moves to Kiev to escape a war that has transformed his native city. Its plot mostly alternates between Haba's new life in Kiev and his early life in uh, the city where he lived but it also includes, importantly, scenes set in Donbass a century earlier, as the Bolsheviks were establishing their control in Ukrainian lands. As Haba sets off learning the Ukrainian language and making new friends in Kiev, he is often visited by the mayor's head, a character from Ukrainian folktale. And if you look in the uh, booklet, you'll see the cover of the book, and there is a mayor's head. Uh, Mondegreen is a novel about transformation and change. Uh, and it's very much about language. In the novel, we see how language connects Haba with a silenced past and suppressed memory. Haba's choice to absorb the Ukrainian language leaves him on a path of exploration of his identity that weaves throughout the novel. In Mondegreen, Rafeenko invites the reader to witness and experiment in what I term linguistic repositioning. But not only is the protagonist, Haba, exploring this shift, but so is the author. And this adds another layer to this exploration. Uh, the author is writing in the Ukrainian language for the first time. It's like taking out a car for the first uh, ride, a new car. Uh, uh, he expresses joy in using things that are characteristic of Ukrainian. Uh, it's extensive arsenal of diminutives. Uh, it's vocative case, which Russian doesn't have. Uh, you can he, he, see the joy of him writing this language for the first time. Um, it was a real challenge and a joy to translate such a novel. Finally, I'd just like to thank uh, Volodymyr for writing uh, such an amazing and important novel. My wife, Irena, who always helps me so much with my translations and uh, was especially show in, in this novel. I'm gonna thank uh, Ole Kudzuba and Huri for publishing such a beautiful book. And finally, um, and the Peterson Literary Fund again, I'd like to thank, and everyone who is fighting for Ukraine today so it can continue to exist and produce its own unique culture. Thank you.